I'm going to make some real green sand for casting some aluminum. In the past I've used play sand and bonded it with oil, which worked okay, but it gave a very grainy texture and it wasn't very easy to work with. So I bought some supplies to try to make, make the real deal. Um, this is silica sand. That's a 50 pound bag. I got it at the auto parts store. It's intended for sandblasting. This is double zero size, double lot, and it's supposedly pretty fine. I haven't opened it to check yet. This box here is bentonite powder. I bought it from lostandfoundry.com and there's uh, it's supposed to be 12 pounds. I weighed it, it's 13 and a half. So um, we should be good there. The recipe from their website says 100 pounds of silica sand and 12 pounds of bentonite and a gallon of water. I have two bags of this because I need to make a decent sized batch. But I'm going to start by just mixing one bag. That way if I mess up I can fix it um, and I have more supplies to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out 6 pounds of bentonite into a bowl and also I've got this spray bottle that I can pump up and um, can spray water out of to help me apply it. I'm going to mix the bentonite and the sand, the two dry powders together as well as I can before adding any water and then I, my plan is to spritz the water on and slowly mix it to try to keep it from clumping too much and get a good even mixture. Here's the bentonite, it's a very fine powder. Okay, I've measured out six and a half, I mean six pounds of bentonite here. And I have my 50 pounds of sand. I've laid everything out on this tarp so it'll help me mix things. So now I'm adding the bentonite clay. Looks pretty well mixed up. So, I guess now I'm going to try to spread it out so I can add the water. So I've got this spray bottle that I can pressurize.
I have this bottle set to spray in a wide pattern so I don't get a lot of water in any one place. So I'm going to slowly add my water and mix. Alright, um, I haven't quite added all the water that I'm supposed to yet, but I've gotten to a point where when I take some and I squeeze it, it's starting to clump together. Okay, but it's not holding quite enough, so I'm going to go ahead and continue adding water, but I think that I'm getting close. This is a half of a batch. This is 50 pounds of sand. So I added six pounds of bentonite and should be half a gallon of water. And I think it's going to be about right with half a gallon, maybe a little bit more. But at this point you can just go do little by little and keep checking the consistency of it until it's what you want. There's no more dust coming off of it like there was when I first started. So it's all got some moisture in it. When I add the water, I'm trying to spread it out relatively thin to give me a lot of surface area to work with. So that it can be distributed more evenly. So, right now, it's not too bad. Sticking together. It's breaking. Cleanly. Well, relatively cleanly. Still a little crumbly in my opinion, so I'm going to go for one more batch of water here. Let's see what we end up with. I've got extra supplies so I can always add more sand or clay if I screw it up. Huh, that's not too bad right there. I think it might be at a good spot. Well, I think.
think that's pretty close. I'm almost thinking it could use a little bit more water, but I'm not quite sure. It just seems... to be a little crumbly, but... I think I'll add a tiny bit more water and then call it good. And I'm going to store this in a tote chest that I can seal the lid on so that it doesn't dry out very fast because I'm not going to be using it until tomorrow. Looks good. I'm going to do a test run with a piece of wood. Unfortunately, I didn't set up a way to get the pattern out without screwing it up. Overall, I think it worked pretty good. Held together. This line came from that piece of styrofoam. You can see the marks in there are because this piece of wood is broken on the bottom, a rough texture. So I'd say this was a success. I'm pleased with the results. And tomorrow I'm going to try casting some aluminum.